All right guys, I'm all set up to do the engine rebuild on this engine. Really excited to do that. Before I jump into that, I'm going to do a little mini series on some of the components on the engine that are specific to two strokes. If you guys haven't been watching this build series on the CR125, we have some of the videos done already and then what we're working on right now is the engine rebuild. So if you guys want to see that, go check it out on the channel and definitely subscribe to see the rest of this build. It's going to be awesome when it's finished. On a two stroke, your reed valve sits right here. This is where your carburetor would sit and then it will funnel fuel into your reed valve. Reed valves normally have a plastic piece sitting in them. And then you get to the actual reed valve assembly. The reed valve is basically a one way valve. So as the piston sucks up into the engine and these flaps open, it'll let that mixture of fuel and air in. But as it goes down, the reed valves will close and they will not let that fuel and air out of the engine. If you see fuel and air leaving your carburetor, usually that's because your reed valves are not functioning properly and are not opening and closing quick enough. When reed valves were first starting being used, they used uh, stainless steel on these. But the issue was, is when the flaps would break off, it would go into the engine and damage it. So they started using carbon fiber and fiberglass flaps. So if these flaps were to break, they will go into the engine and they won't damage it as much because they're a softer material. It, these ones do not last as long as the steel ones though, but if they fail, they will not ruin your engine. There's not much you can do for maintenance on a reed valve, but they are a wear item and you will want to inspect them. Over time, they can chip or fray and fall into the engine or they'll get bent from a lot of use. If your flaps start to get bent up and don't seal down, it can make your engine hard to start. A good way to check if your reed valves are sealing and are in good condition is to look into them and if you see air, you see how I could see light through the uh, end of the reed valves there? That means that these reed valves aren't sealing correctly. And this is a good example because they're old and need to be replaced. And if you look at the other side, you can see they are sealing correctly. If you guys are trying to save a buck, you could probably unscrew your metal pieces here and then just flip your flaps around and they'll seal better. But I'm going for maximum performance on this engine. So I'm not going to be flipping them around. I'm just going to replace them with some aftermarket flaps. One interest, really interesting thing about a reed valve is that it actually opens and closes almost to a one-to-one -one ratio with the engine. So these things open and close extremely fast. So if you're doing 8,000 RPMs with your engine, these things are going to open 8,000 times a minute. So they can wear out just because they're used so heavily. And a reason to go to aftermarket reed valves is just because it'll vaporize the fuel more into the engine and they'll also be more durable and be able to uh, hold open a little bit longer and seal a little bit better. All right guys, if you like today's little mini series video, definitely subscribe to the channel and catch the rest of those, these little mini series so you guys can understand the two stroke engine a little bit more. And then we're gonna be getting into the rebuild soon this week. So if you guys wanna see that and the rest of the CR125 build, then subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. It helps support so I can keep this stuff coming your guys' way.